Bemidji State University is celebrating the different backgrounds of all their students with the annual Festival of Nations. Reporter Sherelle Moore has a look at this year's ceremony with this week's In Focus. <laughs> The Bullarks Ballroom at Bemidji State University was packed with the song, dance, and food of more than 30 different cultures for the 49th Annual Festival of Nations. Student and I meet together. How can we represent the diversity at BSU when we have so many students from different countries, from different cultures, and from different age, right? And we say, okay. Maybe this year the thing should be one festival, but many cultures. Well, this is a platform where they can come in, show their cultures, show their talent, food, if anything they want to represent their country. The International Student Organization at BSU has been working on the festival for the past month, encouraging everyone at the school to show their talents. We had flag show over all the countries of the students were represented and then um, we are doing um, performance songs from different countries, dances and also we have food which represents different countries. Another big part of the evening was the fashion and room decor that really displayed just how diverse BSU really is. We have a lot of international people wearing their cultural dresses from Malaysia, from Uzbekistan, from Pakistan, from Bangladesh. This year was so different because we were doing different things. Last year was our first year, so we had no idea what we were doing, but this year we had a theme, and we did like little hot air balloons and big hot air balloons, and we did a lot of origami. And uh, we just wanted to make it look colorful, like a party or like a festival, so like everybody feels welcome. Next year, the Festival of Nations will be celebrating 50 years. While this year's ceremony was extremely extravagant, ISO has a few more tricks up their sleeve to celebrate half a century of BSU diversity. I really want it to be grand, and I think we need to get more people, more cultures, more shows. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.